I have my Zero to Hero event selected, which shows me every clip associated with that event, right? Well, let's just, um, let's pick an interview per se, right? So I'm going to click on that interview keyword collection. And since it's organized by some nice gentleman before us, uh, we have, we see only four clips here. I'll just select the first one. It's um, Anton Brown. Okay. So I can skim again, uh, the clip and I can see what it looks like in the browser, or the viewer, I mean, sorry. Now there are a bunch of ways to bring the clip down onto the timeline. Okay. One of the most easy ways to do it is to just simply click and drag it down there, right? So I'm going to click and drag my clip. I'm holding the left mouse button, and I'm going to drop it down onto my primary storyline. So if I wanted to do the second clip, if I just click and drag, if I, if I don't select it first and I just try to click and drag it, you'll notice how, how it has this box that starts to draw instead. It's a way to kind of pre-edit. It's a range selection. So you can select the range of a clip and only bring down that range first instead of the whole clip. So if I wanted to bring down the whole clip, I have to click once on it first so it selects the whole range of the clip and then click and drag it down Kima, to the timeline. A, a shortcut that will be your best friend, I swear, is going to be a shift Z as in Zulu or Zebra or Zoo. So what looked like we only had a couple of seconds maybe on our timeline, if you hit shift Z, it kind of zooms in and out for you to fit everything in your view. So why, why is that good? Well, say you're working on something where you're zoomed in really close, right? Well, instead of, you know, zooming all the way out again or moving the slider to zoom, I can just hit Shift-Z, and there we go. Now I can see my whole timeline again.